Hello everybody, this is Josh Spicer from GameWisdom.com, home to another play of Darkest Dungeon Live. Those for you fine folks on YouTube, these are recordings from my live stream, GW Bicer, of playing through the Darkest Dungeon, hopefully from start to finish. Previously, made more progress with the blacksmith, as well as getting really close to maxing this out. I believe the sanitarium has been upgraded as well. Yep, the treatment lab library is fully upgraded. Our barracks is now completely and utterly full. We have a bunch of low-level characters here that will hopefully survive to make it to the mid and end game. My current pool of high guys are not doing so hot. I mean, look at all these negative quirks they have. And let's see, but our low bees are still doing reasonably okay. For tonight's goal, I want to take on the Swine King. That will be another stage 2 fight. And at some point we need to take on the Champion Hat, because I really want to get some of these trophies going. No, we're not ready for you. I named another character after one of the YouTube subscribers. Actually, I named two. Let's see what we have for our starters. I really would like to get Godar up to three before we attempt the Swine King. But I need to be careful. I want to level these fours up to five before that happens. Now that is really amazing for a Grave Robber. But it's the Dread Cove. Not exactly the friendliest place. Hmm. Wow. Again, everyone's just hurting in the mid. See, it's a it's a medium quest, so they will get four. Hmm. Do I dare? Montefort's all right. Hip Fantastic's doing good with his hard skin. Hmm. Can we buy that? Oop, wrong one. No, not yet. Oh, there's that Tomb of Holy Healing. Ooh, we could do it, take another 10% off that. Hmm. How close are we to this? I need 39 and another 25. So really, two, maybe three more veteran quests may get me enough to fully upgrade the weaponsmithing. Huh? I do need to possibly thin some of these high levels out. I hate to say it, but it's coming more and more likely. Do I have a good enough party for this? One, two... Let's see, they are very resistant to bleed in the cove. So that won't help too much. Two... Uh. And Pip Fantastic helped us out tremendously. He's the one, along with Canuck, to help take out the Shambler in an earlier video. I'm going to have to upgrade one of these guys. They're going to hit level 5 no matter what we do. So... One... I'm trying to take some of the people who I know are very close to like being affected by a lot of stuff, so that way if they die, it's not a huge deal. I'll try and protect some of our better quality characters. It would be good to level Pip up to four. He only has a new eye, which is not the worst disease to get. Okay. We can do everything from position one. This defender and retribution has been an amazing combo too. 
who's going to be in our third spot? I suppose we really need a healer. She has no problem yet. Yeah, let's take Chap Chaplin along. Oh my goodness. These are all very annoying quirks, and they're all locked into place. That's the bad thing. 4-3, four, 4-4. Four, four. Alright. I'm saving Knook for next, because I want him to be going against the Swine King. So we'll use our backup bounty hunter. Up, of course. Okay. So again, I'm gonna power up our bounty hunter. You're gonna get protection. She will get healing. We'll double down with the healing, and then for Pseudocom, we will up the Blight, and up the skill chance, or stun chance. Do I really want something like this? Eh, I think we're good. This is good, we have one stun, we have two stuns, no, I'm sorry, we have three stuns, so... It's going to be really useful to land, finish him. We have his mark to lower protection. I'm going to be relying on Defender and Retribution, I think, for a lot of damage. Oh, and one last thing. I want to make sure someone has Nighttime Ambush Protection. Yep, she does. Oh, hello, Canuck. It's great to have you in chat for a little earlier play tonight. I think this is good enough. This will be, I think, really great. Again, the Grave Robber is a very much a luck-based class, so you want high dodge, high crit to get the most out of them. Okay. I wish there was a shortcut that just like all the food. And that ain't gonna work. Take extra shells, because there are some chests that are required. There's lots of bleed going on. Now since this is a medium quest, there's a 50% chance I may get a secret room. A few more of that. I'm also really hoping to get the um, coral, which lets me have a chance of removing a negative quirk. I mean, Tippler and Sickly are, are not horrible. But, I mean, look at all this annoying stuff. Negative 10 stress heal. So we can get rid of some free quirks that will save us a lot. Uh, from chat. Uh, yes, I have played, uh, XCOM 2. I've actually uploaded a video of it on YouTube this very day of recording. Of me doing Legend. I only did the first mission, but I got through it pretty easily. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream it, though. I'm having some optimization issues, and the game is a little slow on my machine, so it may not be the best for streaming purposes. But I think I will do more off-recording videos of it. I think that is good enough. Everyone ready? Yeah, I think we're good. This time, I made sure not to forget those damn shovels. Because I had a play where I completely forgot. And no problem, Canuck. It's great to be able to talk and play at the same time. Well, I don't know if all you heard those cracks. Oh, I got an achievement. It took me one... <laughs> the end of the first year achievement. Yay. Which means we've played this for a very long time. Dear God, I don't know if I'll ever be able to do New Game Plus, where there is a time limit to beat the game. 
These salt soaked Ooh. caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. I love they that word pelagic. I know I've said that before, but I just love it. It just sounds very interesting. Another mariner. Okay. Another misfortune. I think what's interesting that I find Darkest Dungeon more relaxing to play than I do XCOM. I know that's weird because a lot of people I've spoken to find this game so stressful and enjoy uh, XCOM more. Well, we got a free scout. Again, we are looking for the secret room because that could pay off this trip right then and there. I just thought we may not have someone <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm from chat. It's very easy to forget these items, especially when you get into, like, a routine. Ooh, lots of crests, but I don't really need crests right now. Now, who's gonna be our lucky one? 80... Alright, Hendry. Oh, we do have a fight. Everyone good? Yep. E. Uh. Okay. Stress is not horrible. Uh, ooh. Oh no. These guys have such a high crit chance. It's so annoying. Okay, they've already gone. Do five blight. Hmm. Or I stun them. But if we could blight him, he'll be dead very easily. But if this guy does his damn um, rising tide or whatever the hell that is that raises their benefits, that could be very bad. So I think let's go for a stun. All right, Hendry, you know what to do. Ugh. Continue the onslaught. Destroy. Them all. And what I will do is set up, get his protection going. Grievous injury, palpable fear. Okay, they're not going to go at all, which means. We should get a turn to do some decent damage. Finish him. Oh. Wait, actually that will get the kill. Slowly. Moves him up. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Okay, this will set him up. Good. His stress is very high already. He's dead this round, so it doesn't matter. Well struck. And now he is dead for sure. I'm gonna go for a hit to see if we get a crit chance. Oof. Good party here. Yeah, from chat. I think the thing with XCOM is I just find that the metagame is so stressful to play that I know if I lose a party, it's going to set me back and possibly make me lose the campaign. While with Darkest Dungeon, I have the Hamlet, which is the major form of progression. So I know that even if I lose characters, that is still my foundation. But it feels like the early game of XCOM is so stressful to me. Is that freebie? Okay, so we know we have a fight for sure. Another, I think I will camp. Maybe we'll go down, come back up, and camp. Okay. Can't get rid of my shovel. I think we'll get rid of the citrine, take the portrait. Alright, 
who we have. Oh, cleaning up our holy water. Alright, again. Let's knock these guys out of the fight. Plus, he may be able to kill her. I'm not too worried about these two. See what's more accurate. Collect bounty, but can't hit it. All right, do it. Yes. As the fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. Uh oh. Ooh. Hmm. She has a 129 base chance. Let's go for it. Stress, not stress. Ugh. Their formation <laughs> is broken. Nice. Maintain the offensive. Good hit by her. And a crit heal, too. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. I think it's time for a mark. Knock a little bit of that protection off. I'm really loving the Mad Arms. Just being able to take damage and return is such a great trick at this high level. Okay. This should get the kill. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. A lot of good stuff there. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can uh, be beaten. I really do need the bus, though. Let's see, do we get a free scout? No. I think we'll camp heal here. Get rid of all the stress on him. Hate to do it, but I'm gonna throw out the crest. Take that. So I think this will get rid of a negative quirk, if I remember right. Who has the worst? She's not allowed to visit the brothel or the church. But, I mean, those aren't horrible negative quirks. These two are bad, but they're not, you know, damning either. And this I can get rid of very easily. But all of these annoying ones could come back to hurt me. Negative 10 disease resist. May not meditate. Alright, let's let Pseudo get the heal. Okay, well not bad. Yeah, I think it's time to camp. One, I need a space. And we got plenty of food Gathered to lower stress. Oh wait, we can get rid of his Anu disease too. For free. There we go, get rid of a disease for free. Really like that. Uh, man. And lower a little bit more. I could have taken the chance the on the nighttime lit, ambush, the but is clear. I find that most times that's a devoured. huge gamble. Hello guys, how are you doing? I don't need him to stress or buff, so let's knock him out for a turn. Alright, do it! Ugh. Oh wait, we do have a chance. These guys apparently blow up if you take too long to hurt them. <laughs> Double miss. 
Oh, I actually should have targeted him because he's considered undead. But nevertheless, this guy's dead. <laughs> I guess I'm friendly to these guys. Oh, you missed it. In XCOM 2, I say nice things to the guys when I get a flank on them. You know, a little kindness before we finish them off. <laughs> As victories mount, so too will resistance. I need the portrait. How do we get filled up so fast here? Alright. You do that. I would like to find some coral, though, or a map. Um. Oh no, I'm not Canadian. <laughs> uh, let's see. This room should be clean. We need to find the secret room, though, or some coral. Now what? Mechanical hazards uh, possessed by wait, evil I, intent. I can cure all that. The stress hit though is annoying. Mm. Well, actually, that's not horrible. Let them take the stress hit. Okay, I can move him up too. That doesn't bother me. This guy, though, I'm a little worried about. Huh. Yeah, I know it sucks. I gotta do it. That's perfect. Yep, stress her out. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. We can at least start working on the two annoying guys. <laughs> Seven crit. Vision. The end approaches. All right, you need to die. I don't need him blowing up and causing trouble. Alright, the team is back in position to some extent. Yeah, that ain't gonna hurt. Him again. Is this guy... Is it stun? No. He'll block it, so... That takes him down to five. Or four, my mistake. Oh boy. Alright, Pip. Please hold on. Ugh. Reeling. Gasping. Damn. Taken over the edge. He's already dead, madness. so there's no worry there. He's out. What's he gonna do? Eh, that's not horrible. Double mark, I guess. He's out. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. He's gonna take five. Now he's guaranteed to die. Maybe we get the heal. More good stuff. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay. I think I'm gonna drop. And I'm just gonna let that go. I believe this cures stress or gives a buff. Okay. Not bad at all. Uh oh, we got a new fight over here. What could it be? 
not collect. Ooh! I said it at the right moment, didn't I? He has a 70% to resist stun. I'm gonna attempt the stun, because if we can stun him, it's going to set him back a lot. Stun, stun, stun! Ugh. Here we go. At least the good thing about this party is we can just do a lot of damage with Blight. Alright, this guy is the biggest threat. He needs to die before he starts doing all his craziness. Good. <laughs> None of these characters will attack. They'll just defend. So I think we just go for just pure damage. Okay. If I throw this, it's gonna go on him. But that's alright. Gonna heal. No, it's gonna buff. Oof. I could really use a crit right now. This could hurt. We should be able to come back. He's lost that buff. Alright. Well, Retribution. Now to get that Blight going. Okay, so he's gonna basically take 50 damage. Eee! That is very bad. <laughs> Alright, we need a stun. Stun, stun, stun. His stun is only 135 base. Let's try it. Haha, <laughs> we uppercutted him. Good. He's still marked. Hey. There's some more play for you. That doesn't matter. He won't take a stun again, obviously. So we'll just go for damage. He has no protection. We could get a crit. This could maybe kill him. Nope. But it's gonna take him really down. Ooh. Okay, 17. We can move someone up. Okay, 15. Oh, this guy's dead. So, yeah, heal or buff him, that's fine. Ugh, damn. So I take the 15, though. This is just stress damage. Okay, let's heal with you. Oh, you. This could hurt. Executed. Yeah, that's fine. Protect them all you want. A 
He's dead anyway. Pummeling. It's only believe for four more points, that's fine. Alright, we'll just get rid of it now. He can't do a damn thing. I'm just gonna delay this one more turn so that I can heal her up. Success so clearly All right. in you. Or is we know we have a guarantee one more fight. Light. He will definitely have to rest when this is over. So will she, but that 2500 will definitely help pay for this. Give me a map. Being risky here. Okay. At this point, it doesn't even make sense to go dark anymore since we're completely full of resources. Might as well go for this. Again, we'll blind these two. Should maybe I'll get the kill. Well, let's go for the stun. That will be the whole first round to ourselves. These guys have critted yet, which is surprising. Mm, we only that. Horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. I have no more shells. Oh, hi, um... Jewel? It's a trap. <laughs> right, I guess we will drop... Mm. Yeah, we'll take the portraits instead. Okay, you know there's for certain one more fight left. At minimum. Who knows how many are going to be on the way. Good. Don't have to worry about stress. That's our first crit in a single against them. I'm, I mean, but we can heal that. Then bleed, thankfully. Precision and power. And 
we can take a turn to heal. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Fight. Give me a secret room. He can't protect anyone. <laughs> That'll get us the kill. Oh, yeah, there's a big steam sale going on at the moment. I haven't really had a chance to look at it though. Who dodged that? No, it doesn't matter, he's dead anyway. From chat, Drox Octave. I like the game. It's another title from Soldak. I think it's the one that I played the most out of all their games so far. Okay, we do need to finish this fight off. That will guarantee it. Momentum. Push on to the task's end. Yes, scout? No. Drop that. Oh, we're still going. Oh, not bad. Also gives a chance of giving a stress relief too. Uh oh. Ancient uh -huh. His stress is getting dangerously wait. high. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. This is an annoying one.
It's actually fine that he's marked. These guys have got to die. Ugh. They're going to talk back and forth to each other. about things getting in trouble quickly. I can at least get her off of that store. Stun him, please. Whew, how about one fight messing with everything? Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. is getting into trouble now. We gotta push forward though. Oh man, it's taking us all the way to the end. Huh? Oh, hell no. <laughs> we are not doing that right now. It's time. Let's see if luck's on our side. Oh, he's already marked. Let's get a retribution going. Uh oh. As life ebbs, terrible vistas uh -oh. of emptiness reveal themselves. He's still alive. More blood soaks oh, the soil. Oh no. Feeding the evil therein. We lost Pip. Uh oh. 
perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Maybe time to run. But we're so close. We need something good here. All right, about one. A moment of clarity in the eye of the storm. Okay, he is dead this turn, and there goes this big stress dealer. We will not go gently into that good night. We can do this. Okay, he is guaranteed to die next turn. <laughs> Be worth more than me as a cadaver. Nice. Okay, you're dead. That guarantees his death. Going to the bitter end here. Bye. A dizzying blow to body and brain. And here I am without bandages. Oh, we can just cure him that way. some space. Right, let's not forget all this stuff. This expedition at least promises success. I don't need holy water. Don't need this anymore. I thought we got another scout. <laughs> okay, we missed this curio. Oh no, yeah, let's not risk going all the way back for just one chess. My luck will get another collector. At last, wholesome marine. Well, we got what we flourish. came for, but what if cost? Indeed there is such a thing. No. Love well, bus. Surprisingly, we've got a lot of portraits for that. Alright. Fortunately, I have another... Man at Arms. And this does free open some slots. Oh, one. Once, our estate was the envy of this land. She's cured. He's now hard skin. Well, Montefer, it looks like you're gonna be our designated man at arms for at least a little while. Getting close. Ooh. Go 
all the heads back at least. Hmm, not bad lock. I do not want to do a champion one right now. Who do we want to go with this time? One, two, uh. Yeah, we better. Let her rest. Four more portraits, and we can fully upgrade the guild. Alright. Definitely one point blank shot. So we're going back to the ruins. We'll see about... This will be enough to upgrade her to three. Upgrade her to three, too. And thereby set us up to do the Swine King next. One... Mm. This should be an interesting one. He is definitely good on dodging. Digo will be, of course, blighting and stunning everyone. Hopefully. And she will, of course, get what we just risk all that trouble for. And anything for critting again. This is plus dodge, plus damage. Don't want to lose dodge. And yeah, we'll go with that. She has insane dodge now. You're good, you're good. Have to go for that. She will have to be our dedicated healer then. Harry. Alright, here we go. This will get these characters level up. Before we go, I just want to make sure, is there anything else I want to upgrade, lock in, or anything like that? Especially on these lobies. You. Uh, you're 
here is still good. Do I want to lock in plus accuracy? That could be useful. Any more discounts? No, we're at full discount. I'm just gonna cost anyway. Eesh. Hmm. Nah, I hate to do it, but I don't want to spend that money right now. Because we are going to be upgrading level 5 soon. And that's going to be an arm and a leg right there. Alright, good enough. Small quest, so I think 12 should be enough. 3, 2... I'll take 1. And good enough for this. Hmm. Two, two. Uh, I forgot to upgrade her to the next level. She's good. That's what I was saying, it gets very expensive to do these upgrades. Alright, let's do it. Three. Good. You have to do that mental checklist, or very likely you'll accidentally forget something. Time do the ruins, and then we'll do the Swine King, and then depending upon where we're at, we may have time for one more. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, He's definitely high up on stress. That's interesting. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Holy water work on this? Oh, it does. Give him a little stress relief. Okay, we could use a crit here. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. I think we're gonna stun. I don't want that stress to come back and hurt us. Okay, this is a good military. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. She won't be able to do anything. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Good hit. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Everyone back. Nice 
nice sarcophagus. Only 450 for that? That seems like a ripoff to me. We'll probably rest Bagod next time. But she'll hit three. And so will Digo. Got more than enough food. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Something tells me this is going to be a room fight. Now watch my luck. We'll do the Swine King next, and they'll fix that trick to beating him. As we spend all this time preparing. Five to nine. It won't be enough to kill even if it crits, but this might. Oh no. Precision and power. Unfortunately, he's not good in the first position, as you can tell. But I can't really do much about due to our party composition. Hmm. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. We'll heal him, I think, this turn. how awkward our positions are. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. What's it gonna be? Good hit. Forty dodge and she still got it. There's the guarantee. And the heal just because. The slow death. And again, we've somehow completely filled up our inventory. Am I right? Yep. All right, books give us a chance for a positive quirk. So it looks like it's going to be on you, by God. Ugh. Took the chance and it came back to bite me. But this is going to be really good. Mm. Let's stop them from doing anything. So 
Now I'm going to cause bleed. Alright, if we can get the blight next turn, we'll kill both of them before they have a chance to react. It's really not like dogs again. I think I made one mistake. I should give her a poison dart and plays that with pick to the face. Okay. I only want to need momentum. anti venom. Push on to the task's end. That's better. Who's it gonna be? I think it's time for a dog treat. The ground quakes. Well struck. Don't pull. Oh. -ho. this round. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Oh. That will stun, probably. But... This one's dead. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Just hit this curio and then you get out. And then we move to the boss. And now the darkness holds dominion. Black as death. The great ruins belong to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. And once again, we get loaded with crests. Alright. Tipper. Alright, our time, we are at an hour and ten in. So we will do the Swine King, and I think that will call it for this play. In time. You will oh, know you. the tragic extent of my failings. Alright, do we have anyone good? <laughs> I'm 
another man at arms. Hmm. All right, you need to rest. That's not bad. We have more than enough crest at this point, so we might as well go for it. So 1750 becomes an increasing 15, stockpile of curious trinkets gathered from forbidden mm. places. I would like to spend that, but that's gonna really eat up our gold. Twenty thousand will take us down to. And we're not needing it just yet. Still need the three. All right. Oh, we've unlocked the Siren Rank 2 fight. The Siren wasn't too difficult if you can just keep the pressure on her and have someone to stun the one she captures. It's not a hard fight. Getting to her, though, would be a pain. <laughs> Another charm. Fulminating Prophet. Oh, we've unlocked him. From what I've seen, or what I've heard people tell me, the Occultist is a really good counter against the Sonor's Prophet, because he can weaken him. And we do not have any Occultist. Ugh. That's going to be a pain unless we can get lucky. Yeah, I'm going to need to get the next occultist I see. I'm going to have to recruit. All right, let's do the Swine King. So, definitely her. Our hero Knook. Um. Chaplain, how are you doing? And Montefer. Hopefully, he will last better than our previous <laughs> man at arms. We still have one more in reserve. Plus, speed will be nice. So again, Inferno's going to take his power damage. He'll take protection. Healer. And what will she take? She's not going to be healing. something for her. 10.5 base crit should be helpful here. Alright team. And we have the stuns. We have two marks. So they both will be able to synergize here. And you take Bellow. Actually, before we go, I better check skills.
will reduce their dodge, which will be really helpful. Get that upgraded. And now for the expensive part. Alright, I think we're ready. We are still doing the Swine King. Good. Take extra torches because we may run into those situations where we can remove negative quirks. Mm, we don't need too much anti venom. I'll take one for the events. Two of you. Take extra bandages. And take one holy water in case we run into it. Alright, I think we're ready. Good, good, good. I have to do these checks because I know if I don't, I'm going to forget it. My first attempts at summoning were crude and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. The best results came from pigs, whose flesh is most like that of man. Well, good to know, folks. All right. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. All right. For this fight, we're now going to need Battlefield Banish. We're going to need Rallying, rallying Flare. Bah. Can't talk right now. Okay. So with this fight, it's a little tricky. He can be... We'll head north. Actually, we'll head northwest first. And hopefully we'll get some scouts in the process. Or a map. Yeah, yeah, she's obsessed with material objects. Come on. At some point it may be worth it to get rid of that. Oh. This is why I brought extra bandages. Not bad. These two are, I think, the bigger threats. Their formation is broken. Okay. Maintain the and he offensive. may be able to get the kill. Oh, damn it. Mm. We'll heal her this round. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Nice hit. Ringing ears. Blurred vision. The end approaches. Their cursed Good. champion falls. I believe we can use holy water on these guys, on this thing? No. Ah. I believe, other than that, we either take him and get a huge stress hit, or we get something good from it. It's a little too risky, I think, right now. Four damage, I'm fine with taking that. Four extra food, might as well use it. Eat. Mm. I think she has blind fire. Huh. 
<laughs> that was perfect. I meant to do that. Yeah, that's right. Man, that hurts. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Ooh. That was a painful one. As victories mount, you back. so too will resistance. Get some free food. Oh, we got something for him too. Mm. There we go. Good, we got the scout. Very good scout. Okay, we head over here, camp go for the boss and then work our way around. Hopefully this won't be too bad of a fight. Alright. Not the worst, but not the best either. Deal with him. <laughs> yep, that's fine. Target him all you like. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Mm, we're going to heal when we can. So let's go for damage. So close. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. I'd like to get one heal before we move on. Thank you. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Okay. Prevent that. Just like level out everyone's stress. In radiance, All right, it's fun time for victory. our main event. Who's gonna actually do this? And nope, you always do a good job. Okay, another chance. Mm, everyone has positive quirks. Well, we could get something better. Eh, doesn't really affect us. Okay, time to kick some pigs. Secrets and wonders. Can yes, be found I just did that, folks. Tenebrous corners of this place. Okay, let's see if this works. Hey, it's our friends. Bito Squeal. Ooh, I gotta be really, really, really careful. 
If I put Repose on and I counter Wilbur, it's gonna hurt. Okay. Let's see if this strategy works. Just to be on the safe side. He has a stun resist. Oh, it works. Well, uh, there you have it, folks. This is how you're going to basically kill the Swine King fight without any trouble whatsoever. The Torch, or the Rallying Flare, completely negates his marking ability. And when it completely negates the mark, it means he can't do anything. So technically, she's not going to attack, but it doesn't really matter, because he won't be able to do any of his super strong attacks either. This fight's over. I mean, it really is literally over at this point. Oh no, two damage. As long as I don't do anything incredibly stupid like target Wilbur, we're gonna win this. Ooh, Canuck delivering. It hurts, but it's not doing anything horrible. It's gonna stun him. Uh oh. Now this is actually a little interesting. The speed is gonna come back to bite us, apparently. But, I did bring a backup just in case. Three! Holy shit! He just shrugged off that hit like a pro. Goodbye. The thing is even more horrible in death. Snort. Liquefaction cannot come soon enough. All right, Wilbur. Time to say good night. And another boss goes down. A trifling victory. But mm, a victory we don't need that. This could be. Uh, eh, it's not really that good. We don't really need a virtue chance buff. Well, we're not done yet. We need to take this for as much as we can muster. Another medium boss, KO. Everybody's doing fine. I would really like to find the secret room if possible. 20, I bet. Huh? Alright. This was like a job for a mark. Or for the buff. Semi stun resist. We have 129. Let's go for it. Can't get lucky there. That's a very disturbing looking creature. Prodigious 
size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. This mm. expedition at least promises success. We haven't more than enough food, so I think we'll drop that and we'll take the gold. Hmm. We need those deeds. I think we'll drop the citrine. I need the portraits for the gill hall we're going to upgrade after this. Bandages for bleeding. Yeah, I'm just going to drop that. Hmm. Holy war would be used there, but I used mine earlier. And this will be holy war too, I believe. Huh. That's gonna do insane damage on him. Set up. Come on, crit. Ugh. At least we don't have to worry about a blanket fire. Dope. How quickly the Oof. tide turns. That hurt. The bigger the beast. We'll have the to heal for sure. Glory. Take the chance. Good. Very nice. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay, give me a secret room. No secret rooms yet. Hmm. Can't throw out the key. I think I'm gonna get rid of the longevity eye patch. Oh, but that's really useful. We've ran into that situation once again, folks. I have more stuff that I need. I have nothing that I want to throw out. We need bandages for the bleed effect. I think I'm going to get rid of the crests, because they seem to be the most plentiful of the heirlooms. So I'll most likely recover that the most. Now even though this is an empty room, I still won't go down there, because every room I enter gives me that scaling chance. surprised. Okay. Got plenty of food. Curious is the trap maker's uh, art. Bleed, at least. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Okay, so two more rooms. What do we get? Oh, not bad. Now that would be something worth locking down. 
But it's gonna be super expensive to do that. And now, no, we don't have to worry about the torches for a little bit. I know Dark that is their ally. Is Oh, this is the last one we could possibly scout. Maybe we'll get lucky. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Let's see. Alright. Not a horrible fight. A devastating blow. Not bad. Oh, hello, Terrors patience. May indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Oh, I'm afraid you missed the Swine King fight. Mm, who wants to die now? Tomorrow, I'll be uploading this usually after we're done recording. Alright, she's masochistic. Hmm. A tiny poke to finish that off. Yep, I added you as the Jester, I think. Forget how well you did, though. Success uh, that's so definitely worth tossing some stuff out. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Alright, we did not get a scout. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the All earliest right, so settlers. let's just use this here. <laughs> and we're out. And there goes another boss. And we got some upgrading to do. Those portraits are going to put us over. Not bad with the deeds, too, considering this is not a deed area. Alright. Canuck is now officially level 5. Yeah, we, I think we only have one new abomination this whole time. I just didn't have the chance to take it. Ugh. That, we're going to need to cure. We don't need to... We don't need ranged debuffs on an Arbalus. Okay, I think it's going to be about time to wrap up the play, but we got some things to do first. Nothing, I fear. First, when compared to the condition of we got the alluring dangers. siren, sunken crew. We have four medium bosses left, and then that will take us completely done with the mid game. The guild hall is now officially fully ranked. Which means we now have access to the full skills for everyone. Thirteen more, and then we can do that. And now that this is completely full, 
the only places we'll need portraits for are to improve the tavern. So what that means is I can be a little less needy of portraits and save myself for something else. Oh, look! We have an abomination right here. <laughs> That's some good timing. Clutch hitter. Oh, he's got curious, though. Soft and calm. That's just a horrible combination. Well, we don't have anyone else, so fits a land. I guess you're in. Tortured and reclusive. This man is more dangerous than he seems. I really, really would like to get an occultist, though. If we do get an occultist, I may toss out one of our super high level guys. Because I think it's more important to be taking a cultist up for the sonorous prophet. Alright, let's see. How are we doing stress wise? Uh, it's gonna be expensive, but we gotta do it. We need to get rid of Lazy Eye first and foremost. Disease, increase the number of medical slots. Mm, nah. Not yet. What about you? You're good. You got faded, so patience, you at least had you got that going for you. This well we could upgrade that to full. Anyone else high up here? She's resting. You only a solar bracer. So what is next? Ooh. What the hell is this? Hey, look at that. His portrait has a little, um, looks like, um, Hulu-esque, uh, face on it. You can see that in the stream or in the recording. Now this would be really nice for the Hellion. She's still waiting for us. At this point, oh, wait first, sort by level. I think we're at the point where we can possibly do another champion quest. We do have some level fours we can take out. One, two, three, four. Oh, and level threes too. I think I would like to get our Jester, get some of these guys, specifically our Abomination... Where's our... No, I'm sorry. Our Highwayman, Hellion, Jester, and Howlmaster leveled up. We already have several Plague Doctors. But we're missing some of these classes. So it looks like for next... Hmm. Do I want to take on the Siren next? We have someone who can stun. He can, or she can blight and stun. One. He, of course, has the dog biscuit that we can make use of. And can stun, but it will hurt. It may be crazy, but we could attempt the siren next time. When the siren goes down, then we'll have the inchoke flesh. We'll just have three left. And that's still beckoning. Maybe we'll attempt that. Best case scenario, we kill the boss. Worst case scenario, we'll at least empty out some space in our roster. Oh man, so many level fives. Hmm. I really hate to do it, but I wonder if it may be time to attempt a champion, another champion one. 
I mean, this looks really badass and will actually help us for dark runs with her. Let's see. New eye, rabies. Didn't someone get a disease that we have to deal with? Worries, no I I'm sure someone else got one. He's got rabies, which is fine. Because all his skills have a pretty high accuracy base to begin with. Yeah, it's time I think I think it's time for a trial by fire of our level fives. Well, Inferno, he can definitely get an upgrade because he's been worth it. Montefer's good. So expensive, though. Maybe one. Sulcom, how are you doing? It's going to cost it's 96 about 14,000 to fully upgrade everyone. And we'll go Look at that, there's some fancy stuff. Okay, and these so we'll just have to go. So next time oop, we will be attempting Plus 50 result experience. I mean, that's a really nice trinket for leveling people up. Up, oh, it's available twice. And that's really amazing too. But the, the cove is probably the nastiest of the four areas. This isn't much better either. Hmm. Oh. Do I dare? One, two. I mean, they can all hit her. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I would really like to get level 5 weapons though, before we attempt Champion Hag. And to do that, we're going to need some more quests. So I think next time we're going to go after this Hell's Hairpin. That will be our first Champion level quest in a while. And see how this crew does. And then from there... We'll see about maybe leveling up some of these lobies and do some more medium quests. And given our rate of getting tr our heirlooms, we should be able to upgrade the blacksmith to weaponsmithing 5 for next time. And then we just need to spend the time to get this to level 5 and then the blacksmith will be fully leveled. But yeah, I think it's starting... To, it may be time to start sending these guys on some very dangerous quests. And hopefully we get another occultist. And some more interesting guys down here at the low level. Which we can then start cultivating to hopefully take on the champion and darkest dungeon stuff. Because these guys I don't think are going to be able to handle it. They have way too many negative quirks. But they may just be fodder for the Darkest Dungeon at some point. But that is going to do it for this play. We did it in un just under two hours. So for those of you enjoying this either live or recorded, thanks a lot for tuning in. For everyone, if you'd like to be alerted whenever we do this, 
Be sure to subscribe, whether you're on YouTube or on Twitch. If you're watching us on YouTube and you enjoy the video, please like. It will help out a lot. Everybody, check out game-wisdom.com for posts and podcasts relating to game design in the industry and our Patreon campaign to secure monthly funding. That will be found under GW Bicer, and any donations will be greatly appreciated. At some point, I should probably look into getting maybe a subscription service or the um, partner program on Twitch, but I think I need more people watching and subscribing before we can do that. But, eh, maybe at the rate we're going with Darkest Dungeon, that will happen at some point. So, again, thanks a lot for tuning in. Be sure to check back tomorrow for another play, and we'll see how well these level 5s can last under pressure. Alright, take care everybody.